So what we will do in today's video is a, just a regular, normal, everyday makeup look and a Q&A. So you ask me a bunch of questions and I will be answering them in details in this video as well as doing my makeup at the same time. So if you want to know if I answered your questions and what people ask me, then continue watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time that I post a video. So let's get into this Q&A, little makeup look, makeup tutorial in right away. Hello beauties! So today we will do something different, my first Q&A. Oh my god, I'm excited to answer all of your questions. I had a post in my community post on YouTube. I asked you guys to ask me some questions and also on Instagram as well. So both of them, questions from Instagram and questions from YouTube, I'm gonna be answering them today in this video. And of course, every time that I answer a question, I'm gonna be doing a step of my makeup look. So um, if you want to do your makeup at the same time, grab your makeup and just listen to the questions. Everything will be on the side right here. So you can check the questions and listen to my answer at the same time. And of course, all the products that I will be using will be listed down below since I will not be showing you up close the, um, the products that I will be using. So if you wanna know, just check down in this description box and let's start this Q&A. Just a little casual makeup. So the first question that I got is, how is your day going and how are you? So thank you so much for asking that. Um, I My day is doing really, really good. Um, it's sunny outside. I'm such in a good mood. Uh, I'm doing good putting my primer for the first step of the makeup. So I'm wishing everybody a good day as well to everyone that is watching this video and tell me how was your day or how it, is it going? Cause it depends where you are in the world right now. Maybe it's night, maybe it's the morning. Tell me how you're feeling today. I really wanna know. So we are all prepped and primed and now we'll do foundation and answer the second question. So the second question is, when did you first become interested in makeup? And when did you start? Uh, sometimes I have like two questions, so I put them together. So I started become interested in makeup when I was really young. I would see all my cousin, everybody, my friend putting makeup on. And I never really started doing makeup just because I was like, you know, I was scared of like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to get out the door without any makeup on. But for me, this is not what it is. So I was interested in makeup very, very young but I decided to start makeup very, very seriously only when I started my YouTube channel. So this is around nine months ago and I took the leap of faith and decided to start my YouTube channel and to really become serious about makeup. So that's what it is. <laughs> Just doing my foundation and doing small, small, thin layers. Foundation is laid down, it looks really nice. So now we're gonna jump to the concealer and to the third question so the third question is why do you love makeup so much so there are like a few reasons why I love makeup so much and I wanted to talk about them just because I feel there's so much things to say about makeup there's always a different reasons why someone love makeup and I have a few so I'm just gonna start blending while I'm talking so um you know, um, I love, I think the one thing that I really, really love is the artistic side of makeup. Um, I always liked to draw when I was a little girl. I would have my notebook, I would have my agenda, and you would look at it and there was no notes <laughs> or barely any notes. And it would always have a lot of drawings, like nothing. Just uh, you would see waves, you would see flowers, you would see a lot of things. So from such a very young age, I was really interested by art and it was a way, like I said earlier, to really relax and to set myself free. So there is a way that I love, one thing is artistry and the transformation of it. So when you put makeup on, you can transform the shape of your face, you can transform the shape of your eyes, you can create so many different designs and that's what I really like about it. And also the way that is really, really therapeutic, not because it changes my appearance, not at all because I love my appearance and I love the way I am, I'm myself. Um, I just love, like, like I said, the artistic way and the drawings you can create on your eyes. 
and the colors and the different combination you you can do and the one thing also that i love is that makeup is endless which means that there are never there's always a different designs that you can make so it's it's like drawing it's endless and there's so many different possibilities of makeup that it excites me and i want to create more looks and i want to create more things so that's why i love makeup a uh, few reasons. <laughs> so before I do my setting powder and everything, I love to do my cream blush. So that's a new thing that I do. And we will jump to the fourth question while I'm doing my cream blush. So the fourth question is, when is your birthday and how old are you? So that's a little things to say, asking for my birthday and how old I am. <laughs> um, I am 22 years old. Um, I just turned 22 one month ago, so I'm pretty, I'm still very young. And I am born on Earth Day. So this is the 22nd of April. So if ever um, next year you can wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> I did a birthday look actually for my birthday this year. I posted it very late though on my YouTube because I was like, okay, I'm celebrating by myself with my boyfriend. Um my my happy birthday i was like happy birthday to me we ate some sushis and yeah i turned 22 so that's that's like amazing now that i have a little flush of color on cream uh, i will be setting my face with a little brush which is right where are you right there and we'll jump to the next question which is number five and they asked me how do you edit your videos and thumbnails so I use two different softwares, one for editing my videos and one to edit my thumbnails. Both of these are free. So if you were uh, looking for a software that was free and to edit your video or to edit uh, your thumbnails, I'm going to tell you right now my little secret on which I use. So to edit my video, I use DaVinci Resolve 16 and it works really, really well. It competes against Final Cut Pro. So if you are like um, interested by Final Cut Pro, you can always get DaVinci Resolve because they kind of both work similar and it's free. And there's a bunch of different things that you can have and try uh, in DaVinci Resolve. And then the website that I use to edit my thumbnails is canvas.com. And this is absolutely free. You can really edit everything. You can edit uh, Instagram stories. You can edit Instagram pictures. You can edit a lot of different things on this website and it works amazing. And also all of your thumbnails are within the website. So you enter with your Google account and you can save every single thumbnail so you don't lose them because sometimes you use a software or a website and it doesn't save them automatically, which is really annoying. Um, but Canvas is really good at that. Of course, it's free up until if you want to use like different features, you can pay for it. But I only use the free version and I really, really love it. And if you want to know um, about Canvas and DaVinci, everything will be listed down below so you can go check out the links if you want to. So now it's time to set the blush and to answer number six. So let me grab my brush beforehand and we will do this right now. So the question is, how do you manage to do such awesome makeup on camera? So how can I answer that? Um, actually, the reason why, um, well, thank you, first of all, to say that I do such amazing makeup. Uh, one of the reason why I think I do such amazing makeup, like you say, um, is because I do take a lot of time doing my makeup look. So sometimes it can take me around, I would say two, three hours to do a makeup look. It doesn't look like that, but when I edit, it's extremely long <laughs> and I spend a lot of time on my makeup because I want to make sure that it is good and that it looks good. Um, other than that, I love to do creative and dramatic makeup looks because I think it's not makeup looks that you will see every day in the streets when you're walking around, even though after I do these makeup looks, I do go around and I go um, out with them, which sometimes people are like, they're looking at me like, wow, she, what is she wearing or something, you know? But uh, that's one of the part. And I always take the time to think about what I want to do first. So I can imagine, I have like a mental picture of what I want to do. 
and sometimes I'm gonna take inspiration or I'm gonna scroll through Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube to really see a lot of makeup looks and to get inspired from that. And sometimes I only have the colors and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna start blending and I don't know where this is going and it just ends up into a beautiful makeup look. So it really depends on the day and what I feel like doing. Sometimes I like to prep and it can take me so much time to prepare my makeup looks. It can take up to like maybe an hour and a half, two hours, sometimes even three hours about thinking, researching and do a bunch of stuff. If I do only an eye makeup look, I do my entire face of makeup beforehand. So that takes a lot of time, but it's definitely worth it. And I love to give you such great content and I absolutely love when you guys give me suggestions because it really helps me with choosing what you want to see and the colors that you want to see as well. And it helps my creativity as well. I'm going to bronze my face just a little bit and we'll patch to patch pass to the question number seven. So this question said, what is your all time favorite skincare? and makeup products and I added another question in there so what is the best lippy brand in my opinion so skincare it, it's it's kind of like a hard question because there's so many good products and so many brands that I didn't try yet so for now in skincare related products I think the best brand that I can tell you is The Ordinary and The Inky List and the, the reason why I like this uh, skincare brand so much and its product is because the price is so low for the quality of the products so there is like their products are concentrated on extremely good ingredients and on specific ingredients so if you want vitamin C um, it's not gonna be like ooh moisturizer with vitamin C infused with la 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 no. it's gonna be vitamin C specifically so if you need an ingredient specifically these brands will have them and they will work most of the time with your skin type and the price is just really really good in my opinion of these brands and then the makeup brands so one that I really really love right now is ABH so you saw me review a lot of ABH eyeshadows. I absolutely love their eyeshadows. Uh, the Dip Brow Pomade is my favorite for brow products at the moment. And I even told you that the Dip Pomades, I hated them before. And then when I tried the Anastasia one, I was like, wow, I was missing so much in the Dip Brow Pomade. It is so easy to use. It is so much better than a pencil and it works really, really good. And for the lippies, um, one brand that I really, really love, especially for lipstick, normal lipstick, matte lipstick, is MAC Cosmetics. And another brand which um, that I love for liquid lipstick, my favorite of all time, was Kat Von D Vegan Beauty, which, by the way, is not owned by Kat Von D anymore. She sold all of her shares, all ownership, so now it's somebody completely different, and they are planning to rebrand. So I absolutely love the formula. Um, I think it's one of the best out there. And I've had these liquid lipstick for four years and the formula is still as good as the beginning as when I bought them. So it does says a lot about the formulation of the product. So that is the my best of the makeup and the skincare, I think, so far. Uh, I'm going to be trying out more skincare because some uh, other skincare is coming and some other makeup is coming as well. All right, so I decided to put a little bit of highlight before we continued. Well, a lot of highlight. <laughs> I love highlight and I love this wet little look. I think it's so stunning. And now I'm going to go do my eyebrows and answer the next question. So question number eight is, did you get any money from YouTube? Um, so what I have to say about this <laughs> is I didn't get any money from YouTube yet. Um, I'm not monetized. As you can see, I don't have any ads on my videos. And the reason why is because I don't have my hours. So to be monetized here, um, I need a thousand subscribers. I already reached out. So thank you so much for everybody that subscribed to me again. I love all of you beauties and I am so grateful for you to follow me. And... So yeah, I don't have all of my hours and I need 4,000 hours to get monetized and I'm a little bit more than halfway there. And thank you for everybody that literally watches my video and that loves my content. I'm so grateful for everybody that, that watches and that supports me and it really helps me. 
and uh, so yeah I don't receive any money from YouTube but one thing that I receive is some brands some smaller brands they reach out to me and they send me products in exchange for reviews so I do do makeup makeup reviews skincare reviews hair reviews um, a bunch of different reviews for brands in exchange for products and sometimes they will pay me depending on how much is the product and how much I charge um, and how much I want to charge for my videos it's depending on the views depending on the engagement so there's a lot of things to consider uh, about getting paid but it will really come and if you want me to do a video specifically on like prices and how to get deals with brand and how to talk with brands I can do a videos like this um, when I have a little bit more experience and I will gladly share all of my experience with with you because I know a lot of people will, will uh, have questions and they don't know uh, different things that we have to ask different things that we have to say so there's a learning curve to all of this and I am learning every day and I'm so grateful for it and it's such a great experience I really really love it and I'm excited to be monetized too on YouTube I can't wait to reach my 4,000 hours it's gonna be such a milestone honestly um yeah so I'm halfway there already so Thank you so much. Right, so next question while I am setting my eyebrows and I know I have to clean this one up um, with the primer later on when I go to that point. But now the ninth question is, do you have a crush on anybody? I don't have a crush on anybody because I have an incredible, amazing, loving boyfriend that supports me and I love him so, so much. He's so supportive of my YouTube channel and he wants me to succeed and everything and I absolutely love him. We've been together for three years and we will grow together. We'll do a bunch of stuff together and that's what it is. That's my boyfriend and it's all a journey we're gonna grow together we're gonna grow businesses together and it's gonna be amazing it is time to prime the eyes and to pass to the 10 question so I'm gonna grab I did under my brows already just because I needed a lot of concentration and I wasn't able to talk at the same time so that's why I did it in advance to make sure that it was clean and precise um, but the 10 question is who is your biggest influencer in the YouTube community and another one which I put together is who is your favorite beauty blogger so um, there's a lot of youtubers that I watch the first ever beauty youtuber I think that I started watching was when I was really really young I don't remember at what age I was but I was looking at these videos and I was like oh my god um, the makeup looks are so beautiful like she's really really talented and that was Naked Tutorials I've been watching her for so many years it was the, literally the first makeup artist um youtuber that i was watching on youtube and then i have a bunch of others so um i watch a lot of james charles because i think he's so good so talented and he has so many great ideas overall and then another one that i like to watch is huda beauty and rocio cervantes which i don't know how to pronounce her name <laughs> But uh, that is the four really main ones that I like to watch and I think they're really amazing. And I am being a little bit orange today so that's what we're gonna do. And I next question for the eye look. Um, very simple today. So question number 11 uh, is who inspires you? So I think my answer would be the same as like who I follow as beauty bloggers because Nikki Tutorial, James Charles, Huda Beauty and Rocio Cervantes are all people that I follow and that inspire me especially James Charles because he is such a great artist and he's always pushing more for what he wants in life and another one that really really motivates me is Huda Beauty because she started basically from nothing as she built that entire empire and the makeup brand and everything her social media everything so she's she's really good and they all inspire me 
Tell me who inspires you uh, down in the comments down below, which makeup artist will inspire you. Um, I want to know because everybody has different inspiration in life and it's fun to know like who inspires you and so other people can go see them and go see like what they do in life, what, you know, like the makeup looks that they do, other stuff that they do, if they have a makeup brand, etc, etc. There's so many things to that can inspire you. Even myself, I inspire myself too. <laughs> I inspire myself to continue pushing for what I want and I love pushing myself to the point where I'm growing and I can see growth and it makes me really really happy and it inspires me to to push more and to do more i'm just gonna put the shimmer right here eyes are finished almost so now i'm gonna be applying the mascara and question number 12 so what is your favorite makeup look uh, my favorite makeup look i have two actually at this moment so I have the colorful lifted eye makeup look, which was with these colors, orange and yellow, and there was some graphic liners on it. This was literally one of my favorite. I did this look and I was amazed at how it, it turned out good, you know? That's one of the makeup looks that I absolutely love. And then I have the ABH Mini Norvina 3. Um, look that looks absolutely stunning as well I love all the combination of the blue the reds I love when it's colorful and I think another one that I really love that is neutral because I gave you two different looks that are very colorful is the smoky eye so the smoky eye that I did with for hooded eyes I think this was one of my fave as well the blending was really nice I took my time. I really loved the smoky eye that I did there. And I love smoky eye. And the way that it would lift my eye and it would transform my eye shape was just really amazing. And then we jump to the lips. And before I apply a little bit of um, my liquid lipstick, I'm going to answer the question number 13, which is what is your favorite Instagrammer? Uh, my favorite Instagrammer is Rocio Cervantes. I don't know how to say her name. I'm really sorry. Um, her Instagram is Rocio Seja. And I think that her looks are super creative. She's so talented. Her Instagram is literally the best. Like I really highly recommend you going to check out her channel. She has so many makeup looks, so many incredible makeup looks. And she's just amazing at what she does. It's, it's really only that I love. Ooh, those colors together. It's going to be um, bright for the summer. Uh, yeah, so I really really love Everything she does. It's amazing and she has a YouTube channel too and I go see her YouTube channel all the time And her blending is just they call it Olympic. <laughs> that's that's literally what her blending is for the eyeshadows and even her foundation and everything um, And the reason why I love her Instagram so much is because even in her YouTube channel She shows her true skin. She has a lot of acne she doesn't really edit her pictures when there's a little editorial. It's really nice, but you can still see texture. You can see her true self and she embraces who she truly is. So she is, like I said earlier, an inspiration. And this is my favorite Instagram that I follow. So make sure to go follow her. She's really, really amazing. So I'm not going to put any lashes. Uh, this is what my lip look like. And I think it looks really nice. So the last and final step is to put setting spray and to answer the last question in number 14. So let me just apply this beforehand and then I'm just fanning it out. And the last question is, what is your goals for five years? So goals for five years, um, I wrote it down just because I want to be able to tell you what are my goals and you know I have to think about it before I say <laughs> anything I'm just not bab babbling or saying anything you know um, so I want YouTube to be my career um, I really love doing YouTube videos I love doing makeup videos I love to do videos in general so uh, for the future of course I'm gonna have other YouTube channels coming not only about makeup but other YouTube channels uh, when I have more of a following and that I can concentrate on other stuff as well. But for now, I concentrate five days a week on a makeup channel and I really, really love it. I want this to be my full career 
and I'm already working on it and it makes me so excited to think about it. Um, yeah. Also, I want to inspire and help others to reach their goals, to go grab their dreams like this and to get them. So if you want to start a YouTube channel or to do anything, I will, I want to inspire you. I want to help you. So if you have any questions, make sure to ask them to me. Um, you can DM me, write a question down below and I will answer them. I really want to inspire and help others. And also I want to build a community of positivity um, and growth and a lot of different stuff. So I have a lot of plans for the future and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, of course, if you want to see more of every day-to-day -day life, things that I post, it's going to be on my Instagram, my other Instagram, because I have two Instagrams. So one is hustle first, which is my old Instagram that I now uh, restarted using it and I post fitness stuff I post motivational stuff I post everyday stuff so like food healthy stuff and other stuff that I like and my roxanlatulip.mua Instagram is more for uh, makeup stuff so I wanted to have a second Instagram just so I can post whatever I want not only makeup related so go make sure to go follow me on these Instagrams um, they're gonna be listed down below in the comments down below in the pinned comments and you can go check it out and if you like that Q&A make sure to hit the thumbs up um, and like the video and also leave me a comment if you want me to continue making these q and a videos or if you want me to do live q and a's because i know that live q and a's is really amazing and fun so um that's the q and a for today and i really hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment down below subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more of those awesome videos so i post five videos a week monday through friday and if you don't want to miss any videos again make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified every single time that i post one so i really really love you beauties and i will see you in the next one bye beauties